This is a water store. Oh, back a uh, hundred years ago, the Barney Bay was loaded with oysters, and um, commercially it was big. And uh, back in the late 50s, they all uh, began to die off, and they were all gone by about 1962. And now, uh, more disease-resistant uh, oysters uh, have been developed, and the bay has cleaned up considerably since the uh, early 60s, and we're trying to re- uh, restore oysters. And uh, we've now built an oyster reef out off Good Luck Point. This is um, part of the Barnegat Bay Shellfish Restoration Program, and um, about half of us here are volunteers with a, a, a nonprofit organization called Reclaim the Bay. And we do the work and raise much of the funding for the Barnegat Bay Shellfish Restoration Program. This is one of ten upwellers that we have. What's that and mean? An upweller is actually... Uh, Could you show me? Uh, sure. It's, it's actually uh, a tank in which um, nutrient-rich bay water is pumped in uh, to the tank, and then uh, the water is forced to come up through the silos, of which there are ten here, and the silos have a mesh screen on the bottom, which holds the shellfish, in this case oysters, but uh, uh, clams and oysters we raise. And um, the water uh, comes up through the silos, and the shellfish feed and take uh, nutrients out of the water, phytoplankton. And then the water exits through this trough on the, on the uh, top and goes back into the bay. What we here have here today is a, uh, a, a group of uh, guests from the Subaru Corporation who oh, come well. here to assist us. We're, we're, uh, we, we are partners with the Ocean Conservancy. So we came here to do a clean-up with them this morning on the bay, and then we came down here this afternoon to do this. Wow. With that kind of brand, and we like to get involved really in the hard. Get all customers like to get involved in. So it's a nice fit for We raise them here for the uh, entire growing season, which lasts until about November when the water chills below 50 and there becomes less uh, algae in the water for them to feed on. And uh, at that point, uh, they're about 15 millimeters in size, about the size of your thumbnail. And we take those baby clams and we put them in two lease sites that we have in the bottom of the bay and cover them with protective screens to keep uh, predators uh, away. Yeah. You see, oyster clams grow in the sand or mud. They're beneath the surface and they stick their siphons up to feed. Oysters, on the other hand, have to grow in the water column on a reef. And uh, right here you have an example of what we call a spat on shell project. We loaded bags with uh, old clam shells and we bought microscopic sized oyster larvae and uh, put them in a tank with the shells and the oysters naturally set on them. Where and are the here, oysters here? here there's an oyster here, it's an oyster here, oh, so this here, is, these here. are all Each one of living, these is a living. live oyster. Oh, well. Each one of them is a live oyster, and, um, and they're growing uh, very well, I might add. This is from the year before last. These, these oysters are, are just about two years old. While we are putting a million and a half or so clams every year back in the bay, um, the real reason for our existence is about public education. We're using the raising of these shellfish as a tool to educate people about what they can do to improve the condition of the water.